1862, Abraham Lincoln signed the Morrill Act, which created the land grant system for the United States. And this created an opportunity for common people to actually obtain a college education. If you look at what Utah State has done historically, we've had a great effect on agriculture in the Intermountain West. We have a long history from pioneer days to the present time of developing land and making the desert bloom. We do a lot with food products, nutrition, um, healthy living, uh, rural community development. Our understanding of soil physics, of water movement in soil, uh, Utah State was a leader in that research. You know, we help feed the world, which is a great, you know, you go home at night, you think, you know, that's a, a, an awesome cause to be involved with. Our college and the things that we do, it has a reach all across the state and then through that across the world. This building is significantly different than any other building on the Utah State University campus. The fact that we will now be in the same building with our graduate students and with our undergraduate students is just tremendously advantageous to our academic programs. This building really does allow connection. The offices are close, all of the students, the, the technicians, the postdocs are all in the same room. They interact with one another in our laboratories. There are no boundaries between individual laboratories. We all kind of coalesce together. It's really appropriate that it anchors the east end of the quad, showing how important agriculture is at Utah State University. We realize this is our location for decades, maybe even a century to come. It was one of the most challenging sites on campus because it's across from the iconic old main and how it was handled in terms of what's left afterwards really tells you the story. The construction phase was really strengthened by Jacobson Construction's involvement. Their heart was just totally in the project and I felt like they were full partners through the whole thing. This was as low impact as you could imagine a construction site being. The completed building is beautiful and everything was done on, on schedule. The architects working with facilities, working with the construction management, was able to put together a beautiful building that actually is wise use. The cost of operating this building is probably going to be less than the smaller building we're moving from. And I think that's forward looking, that we're concerned about the world in which we live. One of the roles of the public sector, and this was built with public money, is to encourage development of new standards and new techniques that we can later take advantage of. I think a perfect example is some of the reuse of man-made and natural materials in, for instance, the three-form product. We've been actually able to capture solar energy and put it back into the building. By our public investment in opportunities such as this, I think an argument can be made that yes, that is a nice investment of public funds.